Hey everybody. Good morning. Oh, I don't have my other light on. No wonder you can't see me. There we go. That's better. That's better. How are you all today? Good morning. All right, let's see. We're just going to take care of a little business. I got excited and I didn't do everything I needed to do to shut myself down before we got started. So good morning. It is uh, Tuesday. So I actually um, am excited at 9.15, I'm gonna come back on and we'll do coffee and cards. So uh, grab your questions, grab your um, thoughts and uh, join me. And I'll pull cards for uh, those of you who are here. Uh, so looking forward to that, let's do that. Let's do that at 9.15. Uh, so I'll be back. So right now, let's uh, see what the energies are for all of us generally. So um, yeah, I'm looking a little uh, crazy today. So good morning. <laughs> it's early. <laughs> all right. How are you all? Yeah, it's really early. Good Lord. Good Lord. Oh, the cards are jumping already. got one I got three all right let's see what we got here oh I like it I like it I like it I like it a lot of emotions a lot of um, thoughts yeah it's time all right what am what is it time for well it's time to let go of the sorrow it is time to get into the forgiveness and get into the healing and I feel like um, this has to do with really kind of um, letting yourself off the hook for choices and decisions that either you have made or you are currently making about situations um, that just really don't serve you anymore. Like it's, it's, it's over, it's done. Um, so you're feeling bad about it and it could be really hard. I mean, look at that support. There's not just one support, there's two support systems right behind her. Um, because this is, this is, um, this is holding on to that uh, trauma or that bad feeling or that feeling of, um, I don't deserve, I don't deserve, or I'm not good enough. And we have to get out of that feeling. We have to let that go. You know, if you're ma being made by others to, to, to not feel good or to feel like you're not good enough for something, well, then it's time to let that go. It's time to say, I'm moving on from that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let that go by saying that, you know, the person uh, that's making me feel that way is doing the best that they can, even though it's really not great. And I'm just going to let them kind of go on their own direction, do what they have to do for themselves, because I've got to move forward in my way, going in the direction that is for me. So it is time for me to let this go. It's time for me to end this feeling. It is time for me to end this sorrow, this sadness. It's time for me to get into recovery, to know that um, this is no longer holding me back, that I'm just going to uh, forgive what needs to be forgiven myself for whatever choices and decisions or role I played in the situation and then the person for making some pretty uh, shitty um, choices and decisions about me and who I am and, and our relationship. So it's time. It's time for me to let that go. It's time for me to love myself. It's time for me to say I've got this. It's time for me to move on. It's time for me to feel free, free of this burden, free of this pain and sorrow that's sitting on my shoulders or weighing me down. It's time to let it go. Yeah, because it's time to get into moving. It's time to get into um, allowing your emotions to move in a positive direction. It's time to uh, get out of procrastination. It's time to get going. It's time to make the choices and decisions that are right for you not right for anybody else. It's time to oh, uh, stop overthinking anything. Um, if those mental thoughts are coming in that just seem to keep sabotaging you because you can't get away from that mental pattern, drop down into the breath. Do some breathing exercises. Do the breathing meditation I've got on my YouTube channel. 
really get into focusing on your breathing, focusing on um, seeing the thoughts from an outside perspective. It's almost like looking from how you're thinking from behind it. So really start um, getting quiet and then looking at what do I think about? How do I think about it? And then you can start to let that move out. You can start to not keep playing those old tapes in your head. You can get out of thinking the same thoughts all the time because it's time. It's time to make new choices and decisions to not get into procrastination because that's fear energy. It's time to move on. Yeah, it's time to reassess the melodrama. It's time to reassess what didn't work out and recognize that it wasn't just your fault, that the other person played a major role in that. Not that we're uh, laying blame anywhere. We're just seeing everybody's part in it. And so that you don't take on too much of the part, that you do see your talents, gifts, and love yourself and love yourself. So it's time. It's time to, um, yeah, reassess. Reassess this in a way that you can start forgiving. Yeah, because it's time. Look at this. Boom. Speed, activity, multitasking, aid of fire. It's time for this to get out of here. It's time for you to burn it out of your life. Let that fire energy just burn it out. So whatever the situation is that's holding you back, it's time to let it go. It's time to say, I've had enough. I've had enough feeling bad. I've had enough feeling guilty. I've had enough uh, being held down, held back. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. All right. I want to get some... Let's get some clarifying cards to go with that because that was a pretty heavy message. So, oh shoot. Again, I'm not seeing um, comments. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Yeah, I'm not seeing comments. All right, I'll get my phone out here in a minute, guys. But right now, let's... Um, Let's get some clarifying to go with this because I feel like, um, you know, where do we go from here or what is coming next is what it feels like. All right, so let's see what we've got. So I actually got this uh, deck yesterday, Gateway of Light and Activation Oracle by Kyle Gray. Um, he also has the Angel Guide that I get a lot of um, our advice uh, for us. So let's uh, just get some clarifying on this message. Shambhala initiations, Retreat, retreating to recharge, trusting in the process. Yeah, your dharma, your purpose. Yeah, it's time. It's time to retreat. It's time to allow the process to unfold, the healing, the connection. I love that. I love that. Let's see if I can get that clear clearer for you. Yeah, look at how beautiful that is. It's time. It's time to retreat and recharge. And through forgiveness of the situation, getting into gratitude for what is going right is going to be really important. But taking the time, taking the time to do the reflection, the retreating, the getting quiet so that you can look at those thought patterns, look at um, what's going on in your mental body, what's going on in your heart. Um, so you can start to really look at where you can make more better choices and decisions about what you're thinking about or what you're feeling. Yeah, really kind of letting go of the feeling bad or the putting yourself down mentally. Yeah, look at that. Boom. Because expect miracles. Expect miracles. Expect the support to come in that you need. Expect the relationships to manifest that you want. Expect miracles. And I think that's really, um, this is making me think of this card, expect miracles, because look at that. Look at that support there. Lots of support behind you, guiding you, protecting you. Helping you feel better. Helping you know that things are going to be okay. And you got to allow it in. you got to allow it in. 
you gotta allow it in. You can't hold it off because you think like you're not important enough or um, it's never gonna be you. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Miracles occur naturally. They are always ready to unfold. Your angels are encouraging you to prepare yourself for them now. A miracle doesn't have to be an extravagant change in circumstances. It can be a simple shift of energy that creates a wave of love in your life. If you need something positive to happen or you are praying hard for something, this card brings you the message that something exciting and healing is about to unfold. In order to help this along, you are being guided by your angels to recognize and honor your own worth. Realize that you are absolutely worthy of miracles and you will unfold in your life. Your entire life has been brought together by miracles. You are happening all the time and the miracles that you need isn't a difficult one because in the hands of the divine, anything is possible. Place yourself in a golden light. Remember that the light of God is within you. Right there in the heart of your being, your soul. Good things can happen for you. But in order to manifest something wonderful in your life, you have to believe that it is possible. You could be seeing the miracle you need as po impossible or even too big for you to achieve. Ultimately, this is exactly what is blocking you, it from happening. So change it now. Your angel guide is inviting you to open your mind and heart and see what you need being delivered to you. Feel that it is already in your life. Feel grateful for all your blessings and you will allow the miracles you deserve to unfold. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, so I'm going to have to figure out <laughs> why I can't see the comments. <laughs> oh, good gravy. Oh, did I do it? Did I do it? No, I didn't. All right, moving on. Oh, yeah, you're here. I know you are. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so glad, Lisa. I'm so glad. Welcome, honey. Welcome. Good morning, Ann. Good morning, Carm. Good morning, Vicki. Hey, Debbie. Good morning, Beth. All right, ladies. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, yes, I'm going to be back at 9.15 in just about 45 minutes, and uh, we're going to do coffee and cards. So if you're able to join me, please come back. If you're watching this on the replay and you weren't able to be with coffee and cards with me, please uh, feel free to watch that again, even if I pull a card for someone else. If the message or something I say in that message resonates with you, then that message is also for you. Absolutely. And also, we have a full moon coming up on the 18th, 19th. So um, I'm going to be actually putting up a pick a card and we'll do a live uh, reveal for the pick a card um, for the full moon coming up. So uh, a good stuff coming. Yeah, absolutely good stuff coming. Uh, feeling, feeling really, really good. So I hope you are all doing well. And uh, remember, I do have the 25% off right now for all my services. Um, and I also have that uh, attached to the gift card. So um, if you buy uh, the gift card for any of my services right now, that price point is the um, discount the discount. So even if you just buy the gift card and hold on to it and use it at a later date, um, you're only you're you're getting the 25% off. So that's there. And then I do have classes coming up in uh, the spring that I'm really really excited about. But for those of you that are really struggling because this message is really heavy and it was really about you know really letting go of a situation that really really hurts you, that's really in your heart and really in your mental body in a way that's blocking you or or stopping you from moving forward. Um, I would absolutely invite you to um, look at getting some energy work, integrative energy therapy, because it can really help you to unblock and help you to get out of those uh, mental patterns and that, that heaviness in your heart. Because sometimes when it's in our mental or energetic body, when it's in, uh, it's a trauma or a hurt that we've been holding on for a very long time or it happened to us a very long time ago, it's very hard for us to really root out of our energetic body um, on our own. And so um, allowing the, the nine archangels to come in and assist to heal and transform and transmute that trauma back into support um, is profound. And so if you're someone that has been abused in the past, verbally, mentally, emotionally, physically, um, or if you're someone that um, deals with uh, a trauma, deals with uh, sexual abuse, deals with uh, addiction, deals with 
um, you know, all of the, the negative ways we impact ourselves because of the, the uh, traumas and dramas that we're holding on to. So if you're someone that's really ready, really ready to start your healing path, I would absolutely invite you to look at the Integrative Energy Therapy. And you go to guidance311.com and look at uh, the Integrative Energy Therapy page. Um, just click on IET um, on the top. All right, so that's there. So guys, I will be back in 45 minutes to do coffee and cards. Grab your coffee and join me. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great rest of your day, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.